Small satellites, miniaturized satellites, or smallsats, are satellites of low mass and size, usually under 500 kg While all such satellites can be referred to as «small», different classifications are used to categorize them based on mass. Satellites can be built small to reduce the large economic cost of launch vehicles and the costs associated with construction. Miniature satellites, especially in large numbers, may be more useful than fewer, larger ones for some purposes, for example, gathering of scientific data and radio relay. Technical challenges in the construction of small satellites may include the lack of sufficient power storage or of room for a propulsion system. Rationales <laughs> 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 One rationale for miniaturizing satellites is to reduce the cost. Heavier satellites require larger rockets with greater thrust that also has greater cost to finance. In contrast, smaller and lighter satellites require smaller and cheaper launch vehicles and can sometimes be launched in multiples. They can also be launched piggyback, using excess capacity on larger launch vehicles. Miniaturized satellites allow for cheaper designs as well as ease of mass production. Another major reason for developing small satellites is the opportunity to enable missions that a larger satellite could not accomplish, such as constellations for low data rate communications, using formations to gather data from multiple points, in orbit inspection of larger satellites, university related research, testing or qualifying new hardware before using it on a more expensive spacecraft. History The nanosatellite and microsatellite segments of the satellite launch industry have been growing rapidly in recent years, and was based on the Spanish low-cost manufacturing for commercial and communication satellites from the 1990s. Development activity in the 1 to 50 kg to pounds range has been significantly exceeding that in the 50 to 100 kg to 220 pounds range. In the 1 to 50 kg range alone, there were fewer than 15 satellites launched annually in 2000 to 2005, 34 in 2006, then fewer than 30 launches annually during 2007 to 2011. This rose to 34 launched in 2012 and 92 launched in 2013. European analyst Euroconsult projects more than 500 small sats being launched in the years 2015 to 2019 with a market value estimated at 7.4 billion dollars. By mid 2015, many more launch options had become available for small sats and rides as secondary payloads had become both greater in quantity and with the ability to schedule on shorter notice. Classification groups Small satellites The term, ''small satellite'' or sometimes, ''mini-satellite'' often refers to an artificial satellite with a wet mass including fuel between 100 and 500 kg 220 and 1100 pounds but in other usage has come to mean any satellite under 500 kg 1100 pounds small satellite examples include Demeter SAIM Parasol Picard Microscope Taranus ELISA SSOT Smart1 and Spiral A and B Topic: Small satellite launch vehicle. Although small sats have traditionally been launched as secondary payloads on larger launch vehicles, there are a number of companies currently developing launch vehicles specifically targeted at the small sat market. In particular, the secondary payload paradigm does not provide the specificity required for many small satellites that have unique orbital and launch timing requirements. Companies planning small sat launch vehicles include Virgin Orbit's Launcherone 100 kg Rocket Labs Electron 150 kg PLD Space 150 kg 
Topic: <laughs> Microsatellites. The term microsatellite or microsat is usually applied to the name of an artificial satellite with a wet mass between 10 and 100 kg and 220 pounds. However, this is not an official convention and sometimes those terms can refer to satellites larger than that, or smaller than that e.g., 1 to 50 kg Sometimes designs or proposed designs from some satellites of these types have microsatellites working together or in a formation. The generic term, small satellite, or small sat, is also sometimes used, as is, satellite examples, Astrid 1 and Astrid 2, as well as the set of satellites currently announced for launch own below. Microsatellite launch vehicle A number of commercial and military contractor companies are currently developing microsatellite launch vehicles to perform the increasingly targeted launch requirements of microsatellites. While microsatellites have been carried to space for many years as secondary payloads aboard larger launches, the secondary payload paradigm does not provide the specificity required for many increasingly sophisticated small satellites that have unique orbital and launch timing requirements. In July 2012, Virgin Galactic announced LauncherOne, an orbital launch vehicle designed to launch small sat primary payloads of 100 kg £220 into low Earth orbit, with launches projected to begin in 2016. Several commercial customers have already contracted for launches, including GeoOptics, Skybox Imaging, Spaceflight Services, and Planetary Resources. Both Surrey Satellite Technology and Sierra Nevada Space Systems are developing satellite buses, optimized to the design of LauncherOne. Virgin Galactic has been working on the LauncherOne concept since late 2008, and, as of 2015, is making it a larger part of Virgin's core business plan as the Virgin Human Spaceflight Program has experienced multiple delays as well as a fatal accident in 2014. In December 2012, DARPA announced that the Airborne Launch Assist Space Access Program would provide the microsatellite rocket booster for the DARPA SEAM program that intended to release a constellation of 24 micro satellites approximately 20 kilograms 44 pounds range each with 1 meter imaging resolution the program was canceled in december 2015 in april 2013 garvey spacecraft now vector launch was awarded a $200,000 contract to evolve their prospector 18 suborbital launch vehicle technology into an orbital nanosat launch vehicle capable of delivering a 10 kilograms 22 pounds payload into a 250 kilometers 160 miles orbit to an even more capable clustered 2450ths nano micro satellite launch vehicle NMSLV capable of delivering 20 kilograms 44 pounds payloads into 450 kilometers 280 miles circular orbits the Boeing small launch vehicle is an air launched three stage to orbit launch vehicle concept aimed to launch small payloads of 45 kilograms 100 pounds into low earth orbit the program is proposed to drive down launch costs for U.S. military small satellites to as low as $300,000 per launch $7,000 per kilogram and, if the development program was funded, as of 2012 could be operational by 2020. The Swiss company Swiss Space Systems S3 has announced plans in 2013 to develop a suborbital spaceplane named SOAR that would launch a microsat launch vehicle capable of putting a payload of up to 250 kilograms 150 pounds into low Earth orbit. The Spanish company PLD Space, born in 2011 with the objective of developing low cost launch vehicles called Ariane 1 and Ariane 2, with the capacity to place up to 150 kilograms pounds into orbit. Nanosatellites The term nanosatellite or nanosat is applied to an artificial satellite with a wet mass between 1 and 10 kilograms 2.2 and 22.0 pounds 
Designs and proposed designs of these types may be launched individually, or they may have multiple nanosatellites working together or in formation, in which case, sometimes the term, satellite swarm, or fractionated spacecraft, may be applied. Some designs require a larger, mother, satellite for communication with ground controllers or for launching and docking with nanosatellites. Over 1100 nanosatellites have been launched as of January 2019, with continued advances in the miniaturization and capability increase of electronic technology and the use of satellite constellations. Nanosatellites are increasingly capable of performing commercial missions that previously required microsatellites. For example, a 6U CubeSat standard has been proposed to enable a constellation of 35-8 kg Earth imaging satellites to replace a constellation of 5-156 kg RapidEye Earth imaging satellites, at the same mission cost, with significantly increased revisit times, every area of the globe can be imaged every 3.5 hours rather than the once per 24 hours with the RapidEye constellation. More rapid revisit times are a significant improvement for nations performing disaster response, which was the purpose of the RapidEye constellation. Additionally, the Nanosat option would allow more nations to own their own satellite for off-peak imaging data collection. As costs lower and production times shorten, nanosatellites are becoming increasingly feasible ventures for companies. Example nanosatellites, Exocube, CP10, Artisat, Sprout nanosatellite developers and manufacturers include Gomspace, Nanospace, Spire, Surrey Satellite Technology, Novaworks, Doria Aerospace, Planet Labs and Reactor. Topic: <laughs> Nanosat market. In the 10 years of nanosat launches prior to 2014, only 75 nanosats were launched. Launch rates picked up substantially when in the three-month period from November 2013 to January 2014 94 nanosats were launched. One challenge of using nanosats has been the economic delivery of such small satellites to anywhere beyond low Earth orbit. By late 2014, proposals were being developed for larger spacecraft specifically designed to deliver swarms of nanosets to trajectories that are beyond Earth orbit for applications such as exploring distant asteroids. <laughs> <laughs> Nanosatellite launch vehicle with the emergence of the technological advances of miniaturization and increased capital to support private spaceflight initiatives in the 2010s, several startups have been formed to pursue opportunities with developing a variety of small payload nanosatellite launch vehicle (NLV) technologies. NLVs proposed or under development include Virgin Orbit Launcher own upper stage, intended to be air-launched from White Naitu similar to how the Spaceship to Space Plane is launched. Ventions Nanosat Upper Stage. NAMO, Andoya North Star Polar Orbit Capable Launcher for a 10 kg payload. As of April 2013, Garvey Spacecraft now Vector Launch is evolving their Prospector 18 suborbital launch vehicle technology into an orbital nanosat launch vehicle capable of delivering a 10 kg £22 payload into a 250 km miles orbit. Generation Orbit is developing an air-launched rocket to deliver both nanosats and sub-50 kg microsats to low Earth orbit, actual NS launches. NASA launched three satellites on 21 April 2013 based on smartphones. Two phones use the Finesat 1.0 specification and the third used a beta version of Finesat 2.0. ISRO launched 14 nanosatellites on of June 2016, two for Indian universities and 12 for the United States under the Flock 2P program. This launch was performed during the PSLV C-34 mission. ISRO launched 103 nanosatellites on 15 February 2017. This launch was performed during the PSLV C-37 mission. <laughs> Picosatellites The term, Picosatellite, or 
Picasar, not to be confused with the Picasar series of microsatellites, is usually applied to artificial satellites with a wet mass between 0.1 and 1 kg (0.22 and 2.2 pounds), although it is sometimes used to refer to any satellite that is under 1 kg in launch mass. Again, designs and proposed designs of these types usually have multiple Pico satellites working together or in formation. Sometimes the term swarm is applied. Some designs require a larger mother satellite for communication with ground controllers or for launching and docking with Pico satellites. The CubeSat design, with approximately 1 kg pounds) mass, is an example of a large Pico satellite or minimum nanosat. Pico satellites are emerging as a new alternative for do-it-yourself kit builders. Pico satellites are currently commercially available across the full range of 0.1 to 1 kg (0.22 to 2.2 pounds). Launch opportunities are now available for $12,000 to $18,000 for sub-1 kg Picasar payloads that are approximately the size of a soda can. Topic: <laughs> Femtosatellites. The term, femtosatellite, or femtosat, is usually applied to artificial satellites with a wet mass below 100 grams ounces. Like Pico satellites, some designs require a larger, mother, satellite for communication with ground controllers. Three prototype, chip satellites, were launched to the ISS on Space Shuttle Endeavour on its final mission in May 2011. They were attached to the ISS External Platform Materials International Space Station Experiment for testing. In March 2014, the nanosatellite KICSAT was launched aboard a Falcon 9 rocket with the intention of releasing 104 femtosatellite-sized chipsats, or sprites. In the event, they were unable to complete the deployment on time due to a failure of an onboard clock and the deployment mechanism re-entered the atmosphere on 14 May 2014, without having deployed any of the 5-gram femtosats. Thumbsat is another project intending to launch femtosatellites in the late 2010s. Thumbsat announced a launch agreement with CubeCat in 2017 to launch up to 1,000 of the very small satellites. topic technical challenges small satellites usually require innovative propulsion attitude control communication and computation systems larger satellites usually use monopropellants or bipropellant combustion systems for propulsion and attitude control these systems are complex and require a minimal amount of volume to surface area to dissipate heat these systems may be used on larger small satellites, while other micro, nanosats have to use electric propulsion, compressed gas, vaporizable liquids such as butane or carbon dioxide or other innovative propulsion systems that are simple, cheap and scalable. Small satellites can use conventional radio systems in UHF, VHF, S-band and X-band, although often miniaturized using more up-to-date technology as compared to larger satellites. Tiny satellites such as nanosats and small microsats may lack the power supply or mass for large conventional radio transponders, and various miniaturized or innovative communication systems have been proposed, such as laser receivers, antenna arrays and satellite-to-satellite -satellite communication networks. Few of these have been demonstrated in practice. Electronics need to be rigorously tested and modified to be «space-hardened» or resistant to the outer space environment vacuum, microgravity, thermal extremes, and radiation exposure. Miniaturized satellites allow for the opportunity to test new hardware with reduced expense in testing. Furthermore, since the overall cost risk in the mission is much lower, more up-to-date but less space-proven technology can be incorporated into micro and nanosets than can be used in much larger, more expensive missions with less appetite for risk. Collision safety Small satellites are difficult to track with ground-based radar, so it is difficult to predict if they will collide with other satellites or human-occupied spacecraft. 
The U.S. Federal Communications Commission has rejected at least one small satellite launch request on these safety grounds. See also